guys, they have done it again. Let me introduce the covert pant from Barbell Apparel. This is engineered for the everyday athlete who demands a little more from their gear with stealth zipper pockets for easy access, a reinforced tool pocket for your confidence, and a carabiner clip loop for convenience. These pants are ready for anything. They're crafted with military grade four-way stretch fabric and they are tough yet flexible, which is perfect for intense workouts or daily adventures. And with an athletic fit built and designed for your body, you're gonna feel incredible. And guys, here's the best part. Barbell Apparel will stand by their gear with a 100% lifetime replacement guarantee. It rips or breaks, they got you covered. Plus, with their size exchange guarantee, you can go for your fitness goals with complete confidence that your barbell gear will evolve with you. So why settle for ordinary when you can upgrade to extraordinary? Go to barbellapparel.com to fuse unmatched functionality and everyday comfort with the new covert pant. Or guys, just click on the link below. Drickus Duplessy, what a troll. Oh my goodness, this... <laughs> Drickus Duplessis has a skill. He is. Hey, you all right? Mom that... forgot my chains. Oh, all right. I thought a bee came after. You all right? Yeah. Wow. So, Drickus Duplessis has a skill. Truly. He has decided that, and he used a media opportunity for himself to book a match between Sean Strickland and Robert Whitaker. And he just said, you know, it just makes sense. It makes the most sense. That's a big fight. You know, you could main event that anywhere. Everybody wants to see that fight. So I know that's just how it's going to play out. I'll respect the results and I'll respect the winner. We'll move forward from there. And, you know, I'm close. <laughs> that's close to exactly what he said. It's how we said it. You should have seen the sincerity. It was as though he was making a fight announcement. Not only, not only did he do the reverse, not only did he take two guys, okay, Instead of putting them down like everybody else would have done, oh, neither one of those. I'm not five already beat them. I'm never giving them a rematch. I'm moving on. They don't want it bad enough. They're not as good as me. All the stuff that would have been born and redundant and has been done before, he took it from the exact opposite approach of how awesome these guys are. What a big fight. What a main event. That's what everybody wants to see. That's what I want to see. So we'll sit back and wait till that's done. You know, that's just too big of a fight to interfere with. Even to give them a title fight, even to give them me for a title fight, like those two and their history and the fact that it's new and it's never been done before, you know, I might not like it. I might not like having to wait for one of them, but it's it's the sport. It's the right thing. And, you know, I make sure that I do the right thing here as champion. <laughs> he did this all with a straight face. Oh, my goodness. Trinkus Duplessy is a troll. It was so good. You know, I've had these suspicions about him. Like, I'm at the age in my life where, what's that? I feel like you got something going. Are you all right? Yeah. You just hang out, I'll do my piece? Are you going to chime in? I'm wearing boxing shorts. You're wearing? Fourth of July. Oh, Anderson gave me a necklace, and the necklace broke, and I got the boxing gloves, though. All right, so what are you saying? Anderson had given him a necklace. And on that neck, on the chain, there was then an emblem of the boxing gloves. So he lost the chain, never got it back, but he no, recovered the boxing gloves. I got the chain back, just it snapped in half. Oh, all right, all right. Yeah. At any rate, I'm at a point where I can tell a handsome man. Are you with me? I got a little bit distracted, but the, but the deal is, is I was watching Drekus Duplessis. This is not the champion Drekus Duplessis. This is press conference trick is Duplessis, and I was able to sit back and go, you know what? There's a charm and no smile. He's got like very nice eyes and he's very believable. And is he going to go good or bad, face or heel? I don't know. And the bottom line is, does he have the skills to back it up one way or the other? Mm, probably not. Probably not. I mean, at that time, he was not a top 10 ranked guy. He was an undercard fighter. And when he did his first level of speaking up, he was speaking up against Bo Nickel like, I would think there couldn't be a worse matchup, but Tariqas did get his way, and he did get everything that he wanted, and it was time to go fist to cuffs. He found a way to get his hand raised, and he kept going to these press conferences in between, and all of a sudden, that nice smile, and all of a sudden, those pretty eyes, 
all of a sudden he's getting more and more charming. And he's saying worse and worse things. And he, he his ranking is going up and his spot on the card is going up. And the words that he is using and the spite that he is creating and the animosity that is provided is going down. I think, oh my God, we have a star. We have a star if he could just fight a portion as well as he claims that he can, which he can't. Like, that wouldn't be possible. As big as he was talking, he, he couldn't get you 80% of the way there. Well, turned out, it turned out, Odricus Duplessis is the champion of the world. So, now, to, oh, and then he, then he shows up. Did you guys see this? He shows up on some, some show. I mean, it, it's like The Voice here in America. It's like America, American Idol, America's Got Talent. It's, it's like... It's like, in fact, I think it is called The Voice. And it comes out and he sings, but he sings underneath a mask. They reveal the mask. It's Trigus Duplessis. And wouldn't you know, the guy's got a voice of an angel. Like, anything that you would think or suspect about this guy is not true. Oh, and by the way, when I told you he's only got to be a fraction of as good as he's claimed to be, I mean, this is excellent work right here. If there's anything that Sean Strickland does not want, it's to fight Robert Whitaker for a contender's match. Sean will fight him twice if one of them's got the belt. It's it's not the fight he doesn't want. He doesn't want to fight Robert Whitaker in a contender's match. He doesn't want to fight anybody in a contender's match. He has proven that he is the contender. In fact, the number one contender, and he has. That is all true, but that's not totally how this sport works. So Drikus, who has legitimate heat and beef with Sean to some degree, as a way of sticking it to Sean, has just announced how wonderful, how undeniably wonderful, and what a huge gate and box office draw it would be to get Sean and Whitaker together. And even though he's the champion, and even though he has the power to step in front of that and anoint one of them now, he won't. He will follow the rules of the game and adhere to the integrity of the sport as Sean Strickland takes on Robert Whitaker. What is it you're trying to chime in with? Wasn't Robert Whitaker going to fight Michael Bisping? Robert Whitaker versus Michael Bisping, was that supposed to happen? I mean, you're going back many, many years, but, oh. I, but I don't remember that, no. All right, Champ's getting his boxing gloves on, what likely means he's going to get me a pair, which likely means I got to go because I'm probably going to find myself in a little sparring session. Happy day to you all.